see you have this switch who have two position then or 220 but in reality is 110 or 12 volts okay. then i run it on 110 yeah. now you will have to increase the pressure manually by, by the screw yeah. here yeah. then until the gauge go up you see this one going up yeah. now i'm going to send it to the green zone see that? Yeah. okay then i screw again slowly slowly Oh. You need to go slowly because if you're going too fast, you arrive in a red zone, then he stops automatically. Mm -hmm. Too much pressure. Mm -hmm. Increase. Look at that now. I'm not screwing anymore, but you see this no gauge going. still going up. Then you need to keep an eye on it and maybe unscrew a bit to reduce a bit the pressure. Yeah. If you arrive in a red zone, it's not a big deal. It's just going to stop by itself. It's automatic stop. But you see now the green light go on, yeah. you are in good quality and here you can see the level of water you produce. Yeah. Now you start to produce 100 liters per hour. Like, yeah. When you're good, your water tank is full. Yeah. You can hear you unscrew yeah. totally the pressure. Got it. And look at that. Your fresh water pump now is running automatically because automatically it's going to rinse the, the membrane and the filter and everything with fresh water. Nice. Like that is going to use maybe like five gallons of fresh water to rinse all the system. Okay. Then it's very important when your, full, when your water tank is full, you don't stop it just by off, you release all the pressure, yeah. you let this pump running, it's automatic. Yeah. You see now it stops. It stop finish to rinse and you okay. see this one flashing very quickly yeah. meaning like in standby you can turn it